Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the thousand dollar magic product. Uh, this product has been, you know, a lot of people, a lot of content creators have come out against it. I was, for me, it's an okay product. Uh, yeah, it is kind of exciting to be the first one to pull the product. I think somebody made a YouTube video, I think a magic dirty if they seem to have packs available. Uh, these packs were, I believe, free. So if there are ways for you to get this thousand dollar item for free, maybe they give it to all the stores, maybe it's a celebration product. Um, it seemed like this individual had purchased something and then uh, he got it as a free item. So a free thousand dollar item, I don't know what you purchased to get it, but nonetheless, it does seem to have a lot of attention. People are opening it and you know, out of four packs, he did get a scrub land, so he did get a dual land, and dual lands seem to be at least twice as common as the other rares, which is a good sign, because dual lands, if you look at a product, I don't know, Power 9 has a rarity, you know, has is like twice as common as other rares as well, but I guess we'll find out from data soon. This is a product that people are gonna open for videos. This is a product people are going to open on YouTube channels and, and get views. And I think this guy had zero subscribers and then he went from you know zero views to 40,000 views. So obviously he was the first one to get on YouTube. I think it's titled something like that. This isn't a product for people who care about money. This is not a product for people who are you know penny pinchers. This is a product like that you flex. Hey, you know, I flexed, I opened a thousand dollar booster box, what you got to me? Uh, it's the same idea as opening Alpha Investments products, right? The 6.9 anniversary, the thousand dollar Monarch bundle, it's a flex. The uh, Rudy $1,000 promo, I don't see a difference, right? The same people who would buy a $1,000 promo, a single promo of Rudy, is the same person who will be, you know, would love to open this. I mean, there was a guy opening with friends. They had fun. They were laughing. They were, you know, nervous. I mean, you can't tell me that like if everyone's complaining about the price point and yeah, I get it. I wish everything was free. I wish we had free Medicare. I wish we had, no, not Medicare. I wish we had free healthcare. I wish every student, I, oh God, I went to NYU for God's sake. You know, I wish student loans were free. I mean, I wish, you know, things could be forgiven. I wish, you know, I could buy 10 more homes and have my mortgages forgiven. I wish I had an unlimited credit card where I could just buy. My credit card limit is half a million dollars. I wish I could charge it and every month and then somebody would pay for it. I wish that would happen. You know, unfortunately, that's not how life works. And unfortunately, this is a product that costs a thousand dollars if it's not free. Now, what I'm hearing from the rumor mills and again, this is, I'm making this video like a week in advance, so things could come out and totally mess up this video. But I talked to my distributor. Remember, my distributor is um, basically Target, Walmart. It's the same dude. Uh, and if you join me on live stream, you know I basically just have like a, a, a giant Target in like my home. Of all the, uh, it's like the aisle on Target, but instead of one aisle, I have like four of them because I never like sell stuff. I just open it for myself. And sometimes I don't open as much as I should to get more product. The bulk is just so overwhelming. <laughs> and that, that's what gets me is like, I just have to continue to buy. I'm trying to buy, I'm trying to rent out another storage unit, but all my, I have two storage units and they're right next to each other. And I'm just waiting for somebody on my floor to like, I guess, pass away. And they would open a storage unit on the floor because the worst would be then you have to go up and down the floors. I mean, it just it just doesn't make any sense. Like you want it all like at least on the same floor, if not in the same block in the same floor. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a anyway. Anyway, when it comes down to this product, yeah, I understand why you hate it. I understand why it's very popular to hate on it, but. Is it really that different from a Rudy 6.9 product where it's honestly just this leftover promos and trash that he doesn't want and then like a few dice? Like you understand, you're gonna understand very soon the resale value of the Rudy 6.9, especially if you opened it, God forbid you opened it, is 
trash compared to the resale value of this, even if you open the singles, right? Because at the end of the day, people will want a Black Lotus, people would want a Scrubland. There is some value to the cards that you are pulling as opposed to these pins. And I mean, it's just, the pin gets you more, more first edition Monarch. I, I don't understand, like why? Why would we want that? Like, like is this product gonna take off? Like first edition Monarch is now the time to buy? when it's continuously going down every single week. Oh. Anyway, maybe like by the time this is uploaded, first edition Monarch is a thousand dollars a booster box and all the uh, Timmy's dreams came true, right? But as of the recording of this video, it's not even a hundred dollars a box, right? And so I just have to kind of ask this question and it's a really, you know, it's a really logical question. Are there worse things you can buy for a thousand dollars in the hobby? Yes. I would argue that First Edition Monarch is a worse investment at 500 a box, two, two for 1,000 than this product even opened. I would argue that a promo of Rudy Chan that's gone down to 400, 300, selling for 200 on eBay is a worse buy than this product, that this product will never hit 200 sealed or $300 sealed, right, on eBay. Uh, somebody will buy it for 500. I, I, I really don't see this product losing all that much value uh, out the gates. Uh, depends on print run, but it's just fun to open. I mean, it's the reason that people are opening the Rudy product is to get views and subscribers and blow up, you know, try to grow their channel a little bit. The same way with these kids. These kids are opening a channel. They've never gotten one view their whole life and now they have 40,000 views. Hey, congrats, man. This is exactly the product to do that. I mean, who wouldn't watch you know, I've just been watching people's videos, right, of opening the product. And honestly, who wouldn't watch people opening a high-end product? People love the risk. They love the gamble. It's a gamble, guys. Like, when you join a box break or when you buy, you know, Eminence for $20,000, $30,000 a box for 10 cards, I don't think anyone goes into that box. I, I hope not, at least, thinking that, oh, my gosh, I'm this ex positive EV. When I open packs, you've guys seen the live, I've opened packs for like six hours straight this weekend, three hours on Friday, three hours on, and you understand like, it's kind of a joke. Yeah, you know, you're not really expecting to make money opening packs at any price point, unless you're getting the packs for free, which I think Rudy, we could argue the promos were free, the other stuff were free. Um, it's wild, right? It's wild for people who sell products like repacks and you guys know who I'm talking about. It's wild for people and whatnot. It's wild for Rudy himself to hate a product when they themselves have sold products that from an expected value perspective, which already proven because the product, you can look at how much a Rudy Chan promo sold on eBay for eBay, not TCG player, eBay, right? Actual sold. You can look at a product of First Edition Monarch and see what it sold for. Um, these are not like me making numbers up and making it seem worse than it is. It is what it is. I mean, I, at the end of the day, um, what I can tell you about this product and what's happening and the marketplace is, yeah, it's very silly for anyone to spend a thousand dollars on cards today. I'm even thinking about it because I had to talk with my distributor, not like recently, but like, you know, I want to cut down. I don't want to spend five to $10,000 a month with him. I, I want to see if I can negotiate you know, one, 3,000, 3,500, one, or, you know, just kind of like, instead of buying so much, I want to limit because I'm looking at the products and I don't like it, not in this economy. And even the buy listing, you know, I get so many people email me cards and want, it's just like trash, man. I, I don't know, I'm not trying to offend you, right? I, if I'm gonna say something offensive, I just don't even respond to you, okay? So if you sent me a list, I definitely read it, because I'm curious what it is. Everyone would be curious, right? Everyone has the time to read it. And if I think that you want, you know, so much money, you want more than $600 for your volcanic island because the buy list and card kingdom is 600, but you want like 800, it's just, I can't say anything that would make any sense in that case, right? When you want higher than the buy list and card kingdom and the price that you're using 600 is actually much higher than the current buy list in Card Kingdom. So I'm thinking, okay, you want at least 600, buy list in Card Kingdom is 500. There's, you know, and then, I mean, 
if you read these emails, like I read these emails, they all start with, oh, I have a medical emergency. Someone I love has a medical emergency, some type of emergency, right? And emotional pitch, oh, I want you to pay over. And the answer is no, I, I don't wanna pay. I don't want to buy any magic cards right now. I'll be point blank. You know, I made a video and I deleted it and was like, oh, I don't wanna buy no more. So the video was, I don't wanna buy any magic sealed, but I'll take magic singles. And that's probably true. Like, I don't want your steel product because your steel product is the same as the steel product I have. I bought $27,000 of sealed product, of old product, and I have all the new ones too, right? Because I'm a distributor. And it's like, I really don't need your extra War of the Sparks box or your Dominaria box or your modern, I mean, I just have so many of them that are just sitting there taking space. And it, I mean, if you don't, if I don't find someone to live stream it, and do the box breaks and making up like when we're live streaming i'm losing hundreds if not thousands of dollars a night because i'm opening cannibalizing my own product and that might have to continue you know because that's why they do with these giveaways and so on you got to build an audience right um and i think from a marketing standpoint it does make sense that you do need to have regular people come in come in come in i mean yeah the biggest um there's somebody in whatnot who's supposed to give a unlimited black lotus and he i don't think they ever did at least of right now it's a sunday just kind of held on to it and really used it to uh drive traffic up and sell repacks like it's you know when repacks are very popular you know you have a problem because that means the actual packs are not popular and people sell thousand dollar repacks all the time people buy sell one hundred dollar repacks all the time Nobody gives whatnot any flack. And a repack is a terrible idea for people to buy into because you're paying for just, I mean, a repack, which Rudy's product, you can argue is a repack. Uh, anyone with any common sense can tell you a repack is a scam. If it was not a scam, they would sell the individual cards. Simple. It's a scam that used gambling as a disguise to give you a worse deal and give the person who does the repack more money. Like, I think all repacks are scams. Like, I, I point blank tell you. And maybe you'd be like, oh, Tony, are you gonna do repacks? Maybe, but I will tell you straight up, these are cards that I don't want, and if I, these are cards I cannot sell. And just, and I'm taking advantage of the fact that you're a gambler and you're trying to gamble in the, you know, Black Lotus. I have a Black Lotus too, which is a better condition than that one. I could do a pretend giveaway and whatnot, get a few hundred or thousand people to watch, and then not give it away and do it next weekend. So as times get more desperate, things in magic, it's turning very sour, my dudes. Like I, I wanna get the F out of this game. Um, I mean, I even changed the name and then slowly after the Umu time takes off, then the MTG line will go away. So we, when you're doing live streams, guess what people voted on? You know, we, they voted, we, we don't really do Pokemon that much, but like we gave them the option. What do you guys wanna open? Pokemon, magic, Pokemon. Pokemon magic, Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. I mean, I'm a magic channel, supposedly, not a political channel in case I get confused, right? Uh, but nobody want to put magic <laughs> on a magic channel. All they want to do on the live streams is open Pokemon. You can see, you can watch the live stream, you can see the live polls. And, uh, that, that's bonkers crazy, you know, to me, because I've been a magic channel for so long, you would think that my audience would just want to do magic all the time, right? But they don't want to do any magic. I think people are sick. I think people are, are very angry at Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering in general. I don't blame them, but at the same time, it's not good for business, right? Like, it's not, I can't sell a product that people don't want to buy. Nor do I want to stock a product that people don't want to buy. I don't think people want to buy magic right now be a $1,000 pack, be a, a $4 pack at Walmart. You know, big during the big sports boon, right? The only thing that they had, remember people were stabbing each other in the parking lot for Pokemon cards? Forget sports cards, they're just not there, right? It was magic cards. That's all you would ever see at these, you know, Walmarts and Targets and Walgreens. Like everything else would be wiped. Even the baseball cards would be wiped out. The baseball cards, the hockey cards would be gone. The NASCAR was gone. I mean, literally, it was just magic. Like, if that's not like a big danger sign to Marrow and the team that something is wrong, 
that when everyone is selling every single item that they own out, and you are the only card game in this aisle that is remaining, and it not only are you remaining, you just simply cannot move. There's such a demand for cardboard, minus magic. Yeah, you got issues, man. I mean, you got major issues, and then you compound it. I mean, I think magic, I, I don't feel good. Like this, so I was going to make a video about like the thousand dollar magic pack. Now, now I, I understand the video is not about that. The, it's about magic dying. I look, man. I have I have a shit ton. I probably have a quarter million to maybe half a million dollars in magic if you add my storage up. Do I hope the game does well? Yes, I hope it outperforms what I expect. Do I think with the current leadership, the current team, uh, very uncreative people that it will have any hope with this current team? No, I do not think that with the current team of, I can't even mention them because then I will get deplatformed, but of the current team of individuals who I think hate Magic players. I think that's a problem. They seem to hate Magic players. They themselves do not play Magic. They do not like Magic. They only use Magic to get more followers and then cancel people like myself, like Jeremy Hambly, and like others, right? t -Wu. They use the platform. I think that we saw something happen with uh, the comic books creators too. The reason they want to be a Magic employee is not because they're looking out for the best interest or they even like or are interested in Magic. It's because they want the power to cancel Magic players like myself. That's the main problem. And hey, Pokemon didn't cancel nobody. Pokemon did not cancel Logan Paul. When Logan Paul went to a Japanese forest, the suicide forest, right? Took <laughs> him, uploaded it, God. In Japan, I think Logan Paul's banned from even going to Japan, home of Nintendo, home of Pokemon. They did ban him. The Pokemon said, no, Logan Paul, no more Pokemon for you, Logan Paul. No, Logan Paul became the number one advocate for spiking the price to the moon. Even though he's probably still banned from going to Japan ever again. Due to, you know, that debacle. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Bye, guys.